Look at our velocity product here. This is our storm relative velocity. Winds upwards of 73 miles per hour. So this is an intense, intense storm. And just as you mentioned, following this path from Oakman up towards Bankhead into Jasper. So if you live in the city of Jasper, go ahead and get to your safe spot right now. So we need to make sure that everyone is doing their part to uh, practice some safety today as far as getting into that safe place. This is heading towards Interstate 22 from Barney, Cordova, Jasper, and then it'll be emerging towards Baldo and Sipsy over towards Bagley. Make sure that you're putting as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Dangerous day of weather is unfolding in West Alabama. It's intensifying. There's a lot of untapped atmosphere. And it looks like severe thunderstorm warning uh, right now has just developed. So let's get some more information on this. I'll show you on the map. And then, Nate, when you're ready, after you've read the, uh, uh, the post there, we'll, we'll send it back over to you. So here's the look at the severe thunderstorm warning right now. This includes the cities of Gilmore, Maxine, Adamsville, uh, up towards Cardiff, Gardendale, Arrowhead, and Eagle Ridge. If you live in any of these cities, this is a severe thunderstorm warning. Looks like the element for rotation, not no longer there. There's going to be a lot of rain associated with this, but the reason for the warning is this storm that's howling out of northern Tuscaloosa County is going to carry with it some very intense winds. We've already shown you that 3D slice of the atmosphere and this is likely to be producing hail for some folks in some communities so pea size hail is possible but uh, nevertheless we are going to be tracking the threat for all modes of severe weather including heavy rainfall we're looking at the hail and we're also looking at dangerous winds along with tornadic development. So uh, just keep that in mind. But again, this is a severe thunderstorm warning that we just had that, uh, that came out for uh, any of these cities that you see here. Gilmore, Mulga, Adamsville, Gardendale, all the way to Center Point, and then Eagles Ridge there. So an active day of, un of weather is definitely unfolding. Let me zoom out. Let's kind of like reset where we're what we're looking at. So if you're just now joining us, you'll know that, hey, there's a lot going on in West Alabama right now. And as we look up I-65, there's a little bit of rainfall up towards Coleman, some lighter showers in Double Springs, and the severe weather threat's really coming to an end for Hamilton right now, but it's West Alabama that we're really tracking a lot of these storms. And as mentioned before, we are tracking not only stuff going on here, but we are tracking a bunch of stuff back towards Mississippi as well. I do want to show you that just very quickly because these are those long track tornadoes and large tornadoes developing down to our southeast. So the atmosphere down in South Alabama right now is completely untapped. No rain in Montgomery right now, even towards the wire grass. So a lot of energy moving in. So this is why we have a long day of weather. Some ask, why is that window of time so wide for today's event? We had it from afternoon to early Monday morning, and here's why this line of thunderstorms is long and it will continue pressing into Alabama through the late afternoon. So that's something very important to note as well. All right, moving back to our radar here in the Birmingham Metro, I do want to point out that we are tracking a tornado warning and a severe thunderstorm warning right close to the Birmingham Metro really just to the north of Birmingham right now. That doesn't necessarily mean we're out of the clear of things. And I actually want to take our Birmingham Tower Cam. I, I want to see uh, what we're looking at. Generally, this is facing north, so here's the downtown view. This is actually looking back towards the mountain. You can actually see our towers there on top of Red Mountain, and you're starting to see the clouds get a little low there, and we're starting to see that overcast sky. But keep in mind with this view, as we pan the skies, we'll be able to see a little bit more of the northern sky, and that's where we're, and actually the rain is starting to pick up on top of the building as we speak. So here we are on the hillside and we can actually hear that rain and we can see it there on our storm team tower cam. Want to move your attention to Tuscaloosa because that's where the storms, although not impacting the city of Tuscaloosa, we can kind of see off in the distance how that storm system has moved, but you can definitely see how the sky is still very dark and very ominous there. Not a lot of activity in Anniston right now. We're still dealing with a gray sky there. The rain has not arrived in Anniston, but I want you to look at the bottom of your screen. Look at the winds. They are really just making those trees just sway back and forth, bending pretty uh, pretty severely there in the wind. And uh, we'll double box in with that Tuscaloosa Tower Cam right there, so that's good. But I uh, just wanted to take you on a quick tour of the skies because, again, we're kind of seeing some different modes of weather in different areas of our viewing area, with the main focus right now being towards Jasper and now the storm system in Barrie, but it is creating some multiple areas of rotation. That severe thunderstorm 
storm warning for northern Jefferson County will extend until 545. And uh, the reason for the length of these, one, they're moving very fast, but we've got to cover a lot of area to make sure that everyone stays safe from these storms for t this afternoon. All right, let me look back at our reflectivity very quickly because that's where we would likely be able to detect a little bit better. Sue, uh, one of the interesting things about today's weather is we're seeing so much rain on the map that we really have to dis dissect this using our wind velocity products. That really helps us kind of see what, what we're dealing with here. So as we're zooming in, I wanted to show you this a little bit closer to Oakman, that's where we would notice likely the likelihood of some of this rotation developing. So zooming in, let me pull this map here. So there's Oakman, and we're actually hearing those thun the, the thunder here. But close to Oakman is where we're likely seeing some of that rotation. It's a bit more broad right now. So we're not necessarily going to be seeing uh, a, a very well-defined area of rotation right there. It, it, like I said, it is pretty broad. So let's go ahead and track down a little bit further south. So this is driftwood. So this is where we're seeing that storm. Now, this is our base velocity here. So we're really actually seeing that curvature. That's where some of that rotation would be in that storm system right there. So uh, again, and then your, your storm relative velocity. So this is relative to the storm speed that we're looking at this, uh, this particular storm system right here. We'll send it over to